Today, I want to show you the different levels of RF radiation you could be exposed to during a day of air travel and good ways to avoid it. Just outside the security check at JFK, where there are 60 cameras overhead, all these scanners, and you would think that the EMFs would be a lot higher than they are, but actually, look, it's not too bad. Here we are waiting at one of the charging stations at JFK, and uh, my phone is on airplane, as usual. But just look at this, check this out. That's just the energy that's radiating from the charging station. And over here, I set this up to show you the magnetic energy. We'll talk about that in detail on the blog. But I just wanted you to see. Now, I turn on the phone, turn off the airplane, and you really watch it rock and roll. Now remember, the, the max on the acoustometer is six, and uh, you've seen that other meter that I carry around with the big orange ball. That can get up to 150. I've actually seen that happen. But now we're gonna go on board and see how this energy changes. Check it out, we're at the gate and my phone is on, just like everybody else's. Okay, watch, we're getting a solid variant between a three and a six. Now I'm gonna go on airplane here, see if that changes it much. Please change, please change. Ah, came down, no, did not change much. Tons of RF energy floating around this plane. Listen to it. Okay, they just asked everyone to power off their devices and it made a significant change. Look at this. Okay, it's vacillating between 0.3 and 1. Occasionally peaking up to 1.5, but it really is between 0.3 and 1. That's a significant difference. And I like that. I like it. It's a good thing. So here we go. Let's see what happens when we get up in the air. Okay, so the Wi-Fi is on, but not everybody's using their computer. And already, the energy measurements are about twice as high as they were when the passengers had to power off. Now, let's look at the radiation levels coming from this laptop that's connected to the onboard Wi-Fi. Oh my gosh, levels jump to a max as the RF waves peak. You want to know more about EMFs and how much is too much and what the science is saying about the effects? Well, visit safertech.com. Next time you fly, don't use the Wi-Fi when you're in the air. Opt out of x-ray scans and stay away from charging stations. And those are three easy ways to cut down your EMF exposure. See you next time.